Okay, so I'm presenting today um, maybe the most famous national park of all, and that is Yellowstone National Park. And it was established, <coughs> excuse me, as a national park on March 1st, 1872 by President Ulysses S. Grant. So if that sounds familiar from the Civil War, it should. This is the oldest national park um, actually, actually in the world, for sure the largest are oldest in the US. And so here's where it's located. It's located in the northwest corner of Wyoming, but spilt right here, but spills a little bit into northern or southern Montana and also into eastern Idaho. But we'll type Wyoming as the um, state that it's in. And here are some gorgeous landscape views. So this might look familiar from our stream table work. You notice here we have a steep gradient in a V shape for river erosion. Here you can see bison and steam vents, and then this is a boiling mud pot. Okay, and then here we have a spring, some mountains in the distance, and more hydrothermal features, hydrothermic meaning hot water. And then more of the same, including, oh, I've, did I tell you this was Emily Higgins? That's terrible. This is by Emily Higgins. Okay, so this is Emily's um, video that she picked for you to enjoy. got a good sense from Emily's video of what you can um, experience as a landscape. And it begs the question, how did all of this craziness get there, this spectacular craziness? And so this is Emily's landscape explanation. 
A very long time ago, a hot spot formed under the mantle. At one point, this forced a large amount of magma to the crust. And after a while, the pressure being put on the crust from the magma caused it to erupt and eventually formed a caldera. A caldera is the lower part in the land formed when a magma chamber is emptied. So it's like a sunken magma chamber. After a super volcano like Yellowstone erupts, it's not likely to erupt again though. And of course, because it's volcanic, the dominant rock type is igneous. Now let me show you um, in her diagram what we mean. So in that video, everything that you saw going on in here, all those attractions are down in the sunken magma chamber. So this is the Northwest corner of Wyoming and underneath it, there's still this hot spot but the, it's not likely, like she said, to erupt again. Once upon a time, this would have been a super volcano. When the magma chamber emptied, it collapsed on its own weight, but we still have geysers and steam vents because the magma is heating the water close to the surface. When you stand in the park, you can actually look on the horizon and see the highland all around you and you realize, oh my goodness, like I'm in the middle of once was a super volcano. And so um, when we type though, remember we're gonna type our dominant force is volcanoes, but we'll put hot spot, not subduction zone. And because of this hot spot, Emily's connection to class was the formation of Hawaii because they're similar in that way, both on a hot spot. Now you could tell from the video that Emily had lots of choices about attractions. She chose these three good ones. Um, she chose Old Faithful. So this geyser is easily accessible and it's called Old Faithful because it's predictable about the eruption time. And so you can see there's a visitor center there and then an amphitheater where you can sit and wait and enjoy it. And it erupts about every hour and a half um, just because the water's being heated and pressurized by that magma close to the surface. It's tough to pick, but this might be my favorite attraction. This is called Grand Prismatic Spring. You hear prism and prismatic, like my mom had one in our kitchen growing up that would make the rainbow of colors. But this spring starts 120 feet under the ground. That's taller than a 10-story building, and it's the third largest spring in the world. So groundwater is just meeting and opening at the surface. Um, if you're curious... Um, the colors actually are from heat loving bacteria that live at different depths in the water and their metabolism creates chemicals that colors the water. And so to give you an idea of size, this is the boardwalk and those tiny little dots are people that are viewing Grand Prismatic Spring. So again, her attractions are Old Faithful Geyser, Grand Prismatic Spring, and finally she picked the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Notice that um, V shape there. So. This Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone has quite a few trails you can hike. You could see the one where you get to the upper, uh, the falls right here and get to hear it go past. And thermal activity right now and in the past has made the rocks softer so they erode easily. And you notice really the reason it's called Yellowstone, that's all the sulfur that's in the rock. Now, um, her plants, lots of plant life here. She has the yellow bell, the Lewis monkey flower and the Rocky Mountain juniper. And then her animal choices were bison, lots of them. I was in a buffalo traffic jam, grizzly bears, and also check out that white-tailed jackrabbit. Okay, her current event is kind of crazy. This is not a good idea. A man was banned from Yellowstone after trying to cook chicken in the hot spring. So there were 10 hikers trying to cook this chicken and they had to pay a $1,200 fine and ban from the park for two years for not following the rules. It's honestly dangerous to be by these hydrothermic features. Bad plan. And then this was Emily's personal reflection. The most interesting thing she learned is that Yellowstone is a super volcano, but it's unlikely to erupt again. And if she were to visit the park again, she has been there spoiled girl, right? She would like to visit Grand Prismatic Spring. Okay, so let's now pause if you need to, get out your presentation chart. So our presenter was Emily Higgins. Her park's name right there is Yellowstone, mostly in the state of Wyoming. Her dominant force to shape the land is a volcano, but please put in parentheses, hot spot. And then you're gonna rank it how much you want to visit, but here are three things you could see or do. Old Faithful, you can get a picture of that, Grand Prismatic Spring, or maybe the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. I hope you enjoy.